Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over the Bitcoin chart in front of you right here explaining how I am going to be trading this going into the week of the halvening. Yes, a very hyped event indeed on Bitcoin, ladies and gentlemen. We have everybody talking about it right now. So I'm going to be going over how I am expecting this to trade out. And uh, yeah, I just want to really explain my thought process behind this, but really why we have to purely stay Stick to the technicals here. Bitcoin is an extremely, extremely, extremely technical driven market. OK, so we need to stick to the technicals, remove the emotion, remove the biases and trade what the chart is giving us. With that said, let's go into the charts. So. And you know, the last video update that I gave you was obviously two days ago, publicly on the 4th of May, and we were inside of this uh, channel, really. This was the exact channel, not edited. And what we had was we were at the low of the channel, and I was explaining why I was expecting a rotation, okay, back from the low of the channel up to the high. And that is exactly what we had on Bitcoin here. We can see here, lovely, the rotation from the low to the midpoint, back up to the highs. From the highs, I personally took a short and what we had was obviously a drop down to the midpoint in the end where it found support and moved back up to the highs. This was my take profit one. I got stopped on the rest of the position for profit. So that was a decent trade. And obviously the trade before that was, you know, simply a long from the lows. So we went from long into short back into, well, take profit one out of short getting stopped on the rise in price. And then that brings you up to really the last sort of 12, 12, 24 hours. This was my pro thought process last night uh, that I was not going to be looking for any more shorts uh, from the top of the range uh, because for me, a partial decline. OK, so this is good theory. Write it down. Partial decline is bullish. OK, as we get an alert going off here. So a partial decline is bullish. Um, <clears throat> and I was recognizing that sign last night and I woke up this morning and Bitcoin was just around the 9Ks. OK, so I was just seeing it just peaking above 9K. And, uh, you know, my thought process was, OK, we've just had a partial decline. This is consolidation under resistance. It's very likely that we move up from here. We can see that it happened. But I'll let you into my head. And this is what I was saying this morning to the, my uh, team that I'm expecting a push upwards from here. And the key levels, very, very key levels are 9,180 and then 9,339. OK, what are we range bound between here? We are actually range bound slightly here between 9,150 and 9,339, okay? So those key levels that I gave, you did also, by the way, really, really nicely here, get the back test 9,180, okay? 9,180 back test before that increase in price to 9,400. So, madre mia, como me gusta decir, is that, that these levels are just absolutely insane. So if you're a sculptor like me, Really, really, really nice uh, Yeah, to identify those levels in advance and get the trades like they got. Uh, yeah, brilliant indeed. So now you're, you're in a range, aren't you? You're clearly range bound. Really, in my opinion anyway, the, the highs here are this 9339, which is a monthly level. Okay, the way I do my monthlies. Uh, we got monthly resistance 9339. And then a high volume support at 9,150. And so we can expect this range, uh, you know, a smaller range. Obviously, this was our bigger range. We've now broke out of that range. And now we are, you know, within a smaller range here. So I suppose, like, what we what we can say is one has to say, uh, one, one has to favor anyway and say that it's, it's more likely than not to break up from here because we have to look at the overall trend. The overall trend is really, really bullish. OK, locally, obviously, over the last this is referring to the last one and a half months, uh, we have seen a very bullish trend. OK, so that's undeniable. Just come up to the four hour. You can kind of see from the lows there, okay, we're up obviously over 100% with higher highs and higher lows. So, yes, we have 9339 resistance here. This is clearly a take profit if you're long, but it doesn't really mean short, okay? You don't really want to be so, in my opinion anyway, there's no need to catch the highs. I think the way, uh, not financial advice, but I will be looking to do this now is if we come back into this range, then that's what, once again, like a deviation from the range, back down to the lows. If we come back into this channel, well, what is it? It's kind of a deviation from the high. And then when you're back in, you can trade it back down to the lows again. But until it comes back into this channel, then one has to envision that this does eventually break up higher. I have got my eye on a little bit of a harmonic here, okay, which I was looking at uh, with the potential of something along this lines, okay, with something along this, okay, that maybe gives just one more attempt at the highs uh, before a little well basically this obviously is just going to give us a little bit of a longer the range within a harmonic which I personally like here so I'm keeping my eye on this um, 
yeah, so that's basically what I'll be doing. And um, yeah, a, 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 one would have envisioned though, because of the strength that we've had here with this partial decline, obviously giving us our consolidation under resistance, giving us our breakout to 9339. I was in longs from this morning. And I have hit my take profit one. So at the end of the day, whether this falls down or breaks up from here, I'm in a very nice position indeed where I'm guaranteed to make money. And <laughs> that's all I really care about. Uh, but obviously, one would imagine, yeah, a break up from here. When, if we break up from here, where are you looking towards? Well, 9600, 9800, 9, 10K. And then if you get above 10K, I think you're just going in $200 increments, really. You got not, you got 10,200. I guess possibly then 10,500, 10, 11K, 11,500. You know, there's there's a lot of space to the upside if this wants to run going into the halvening. And why do I mention the halvening again? It's because of the biases that are behind it. Obviously, you're going to have the people that say the halvening is bullish. The people that are going to have to say that the halvening is bearish. The ones that will say you're going to get a dump before the halvening. The ones that will say you get a dump after the halvening. I was obviously under the opinion or bias, so to speak, that the halvening was going to be a bearish event, okay? So whether this becomes a really big sell-off now after the event or literally one or two days before the event, that's yet to say, okay? But at the end of the day, we need to remove the biases. Even if you're under the bias, the halvening is like extremely bullish. You cannot really just trade the chart for that. You have to, what I mean is you have to trade from the chart. And I think the evidence is right here that, you know, being able to essentially time the lows time the highs time the lows time the highs of all of this range so far it's just so truly should be so evident to you that the technicals here really control the market it's just absolutely absolutely when you know what you're doing a trader's dream right here it really really is and uh that yeah this is these are these are some of the trades that i took over uh yeah during this range so i would like highlight it to you and just go over it really quickly basically originally we had the high term high term time frame channel high got into that short 9412 from the lows this was obviously our head and shoulders counter trade okay from that we went into a high volume cluster 912 then we obviously came to our low of the channel back up to the high of the channel where you know we all know what happened on this one only hit take profit one stopped on the rest but then recognized the signs of the strength this morning and got into that long just around 9k and then that obviously gave us our take profit one the monthly 9339 and that leaves us where you are now but that there ladies and gentlemen is six trades within a range of under one week and six wins six trades six wins that is mind-blowingly accurate uh trading if i must say so myself i know it's my trades but you know that's pretty insane trading if i say so myself and um you know it just really goes to highlight you all you need to do at the end of the day is trade the chart here okay we are going to turn around at some point okay so i would say this we, we, we're <laughs> all i would say is when a drop comes i am expecting the drop to be very quick and very large that's all i would say is when the drop comes yes it's, it's probably going to because of the way that we've built up stops here it's going to be very very big but until that until we really lose support do we need to time that high no you don't need to time the exact high because of the strength in the drop that will come okay you don't need to be in the, at that at the very high if you can get 60 percent of that move you're going to be very happy indeed and until that happens trade the chart when there's signs of strength long when there's signs of weakness sure and that's exactly what i've done that's exactly how i've traded this range and that's a, you know i've kind of killed it so um yeah, that goes to show you really what I'm expecting. OK, so I'm looking here for another local range. You just saw the harmonic that I drew for you all. That's how I'm expecting this to go. Uh, really, the sign of weakness coming back into this channel. We'll simply trade it back down to the channel lows. Look for the channel put midpoint as a take profit one. If we break above 9339, well, clearly you got back up at the highs, which is around 9500. But really, one would be looking towards, you know, closer to 10K. Uh, final words, don't get carried away by the halvening. Don't just buy because it's the halvening. Yes, Obviously, one would have made money if they just bought because of the halvening. That's I'm not denying that. But all I need to say is, you know, just don't do it. Just do well, I guess, do whatever you want. But that personally, I think you just got to stick to the charts here. Don't get emotional. Don't just put money into this willy nilly. You know, you do want to know what you're doing here. Otherwise, you are going to get wrecked. Whether that means we go up to 10K, you think that you're a genius and then you lose it all because you don't sell anything. Well, that's probably going to happen to a lot of people. A lot of people that make money on this rise will lose it and more. That I can almost guarantee. Don't be one of those people. Know what you're doing. Do good trades. Make money. It's as simple as that, really.
these are some of the comments that we had from the group earlier uh that was my long position anyway from this morning and then you could just see other members of the group absolutely uh killing it along with me all in longs this morning we hit take profits as you can see people being sensible taking taking profits getting ready for new trades and taking it from here so yeah that's an update from me ladies and gentlemen hope that you've enjoyed this one i will say i've got a live stream tonight so i have got a live stream tonight if you're interested where i'm going to be teaching you how to use this website in particular which i think is extremely useful the information that you can get from this this in my opinion this 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 is just absolutely valuable so so such a valuable website so if you're interested in learning about this this is where you get full-on statistics uh cvd delta uh footprint charts uh tpo charts just unreal amount of knowledge you can get on this website it's, it's just crazy so if you're interested in learning about that i've got a live stream about it tonight um and then obviously you <laughs> if you're in the champions group then you can <laughs> envision yourself making games like this daily with the team very nice indeed if you're interested in that chartchampions.com we'll be happy to have you across and uh yeah i'll, I'll, I'll be i'll be happy to say hello and welcome and uh um apart from that Keep your eyes on the charts. Don't get carried away with the halvening. And uh, yeah, trade the technical analysis. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. Have a good one. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll leave you looking at that picture one more time because that, that that is truly, truly. Oh, I hope it. I kind of like this guy says. You know, hopefully it inspires you because yeah, that 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 is pretty amazing. So yeah, all called in advance. Cheers, everybody. Thanks. Have a good one. Bye. Cheers.